In my last video when I installed CarPlay on the Tundra, people absolutely loved it. However, there were some people that wanted that OEM screen and that's where this video comes in. We're going to make it super stock, super OEM using this little device right here from Car ABC. This small metal box will give you Apple CarPlay and of course, it's going to be all plug and play. So just like in the last video, step one, remove and unplug the accessory power section using a pry tool. Now, a lot of people ask me, why don't we just use a screwdriver? Trust me, you don't want to use a screwdriver on this unless it's a plastic screwdriver because you don't want to damage anything. All the plugs should come off easily. And now you're on to the next step. Remove and unplug the AC power controls. I mean, this is all plug and play to get CarPlay in your vehicle. And I'm doing this with a camera in my hand, guys. The next step, you're going to remove and unplug the original screen. Now, there are four bolts on the bottom right here. Use a 10 millimeter with an extension to make your life easier to get all four bolts out. And once you're done with that, the screen should just pop out fairly easily. It's just held on with clips. Unplug the original screen and you can see everything is just plug and play. So you just unplug it, ready to be plugged in to all the new cables. So I'm going to put the original screen down on the seat right there to make sure it doesn't fall. And these are the new cables ready to be plugged and played into the old cables. When I say plug and play, I literally mean plug and play. If you're cutting anything, if you're splicing anything, you're doing something wrong. Everything is plug and play. Every connector has a specific location. You can't plug anything in the wrong section. That's me plugging one of the cables into the actual CarPlay box. And now you're ready for the next step. And you guessed it, plug and play everything back together into the original head unit. Now, this is an optional step. However, I highly recommend you do this. This is a USB cable so that you can make your CarPlay wired. Wireless CarPlay is great and all. However, I just love the wired CarPlay much better because it charges my phone and also gives me CarPlay at the same time. If you want to use the wireless function, you can definitely just use the wireless function. And you can see right here, the next step is to put this CarPlay box and also all the cables into all that space back there. There's a lot of space back there to put all the cables in there to put the head unit back into place. Make sure you use the four bolts to basically screw everything back together using that same 10 millimeter with the extension to secure the head unit into place. Here's the USB. Make sure you leave that out because you're going to just basically run it down all the way to the bottom so you can plug your iPhone in and make it wired CarPlay. Not going to lie, I absolutely love the giant screen from my last CarPlay video on the Tundra. However, there's something with the OEM original Toyota interface and the Toyota screen that just makes me feel like that's what I like better. So we're doing this all into reverse, basically plugging everything back in, putting everything back into place. And here's the actual USB. I just made a little hole for temporary for right now. I might do a cleaner job later, but it's all the way at the bottom right there. It still looks good in my opinion. And once you slam it into place, you're good to go. Look at that. It took me 10 minutes to do this with the camera in my hand, guys. Truly an awesome system. Next, you're gonna see me right here plugging in the USB to get wired CarPlay and charge my phone. Just plug it in, turn on your vehicle, and gosh, I missed that Toyota symbol coming on every time. And now here is how you actually turn on CarPlay. There are different methods depending on what you have in your vehicle. In my situation, I just have to press this push to listen button right here on the steering wheel and it just turns on kind of like magic. It's really cool. And there you have it. You have CarPlay, Android Auto. You can watch movies on here, do a lot of things. However, for me, the main thing I want is CarPlay and once you plug it in, boom, CarPlay turns on. Really awesome, guys. And this is the first time I saw it, so I had to take it back. I was like, whoa, that looks kind of cool. And it looks weird at the same time because I'm so used to the laggy Toyota interface that was on there. And to have CarPlay on here just working flawlessly, it's so weird. So everything works with CarPlay. The music already started playing. And I use Pandora. You can use, obviously, any music service that you use, Spotify, whatever you want and the music plays through the speakers. And then also obviously backup camera works and everything like that, because this is the original screen, guys. Everything works like normal, except now you have CarPlay. You could even probably sell this vehicle for a thousand dollars more because it has CarPlay in it. And these trucks did not come with CarPlay already installed. And CarPlay is a pretty sought after thing at the moment. So I'm absolutely loving this. 10 out of 10 for me, guys. 
In my opinion, I love it. And it looks like Toyota actually installed this. Links are gonna be in the description section of the video below. You guys already know it, but that's pretty much it for this video. Catch you in the next video. Kinchers here saying thanks for watching and peace.